Hey guys, I'm Brent Rose, tech writer and gentle assassin. Elon Musk just announced Tesla's first home battery product. He thinks it's going to change the way the world consumes and stores energy. Let's break this down so you can sound smart at your weekend barbecue. First off, let's talk about the product itself. Tesla's power wall is basically a big lithium ion battery. It's about four feet tall, three feet wide, and seven inches deep. It looks kind of like the monolith the monkeys worshiped in 2001 A Space Odyssey. Now, Tesla isn't the first company to offer home batteries, but they're selling it for about a third the price of the competitors, and they say it'll last a lot longer. It comes in two different flavors. There's the 10 kilowatt hour version for 3,500 bucks, which is basically used as backup power in case you have an outage. Or there's the seven kilowatt hour version for 3,000. This one's meant for daily cycling. That means powering up and depleting that power every single day, running your house off of it, basically. The unit is sleek enough that it can be mounted to the wall inside your garage or even an exterior wall on your house, and they can be lined up side by side by side to match the power requirements of your home. It also comes in several different colors in case you want it to match that pretty Model S you got inside your garage. Tesla is also going to be selling an infinitely scalable 100 kilowatt hour power pack, but that's just for utility companies and commercial purposes, so let's leave that aside for today. So why is this a big deal? Well, solar energy can obviously only be generated when the sun is out in the middle of the day. However, peak energy consumption happens at night when there's no potential for solar energy. So all that energy we generate during the day essentially goes to waste. What this system does is it gives us a way to store that energy to then be used later when we turn the lights on and run the dishwasher and watch TV. And if you have enough solar panels, the system has the potential to take you completely off the grid. Now, you don't have to have solar panels to use the power wall because you can use the grid to charge it up too. One theoretical benefit could be charging it up during off-peak hours when electricity is cheapest and then running your home off of it during the peak evening hours when electricity prices go up. That said, given the current price of the batteries, we just don't see the cost benefit here. The place where it would make sense is if you lived in a blackout prone region. The ability to charge up when you did have power and then run your home off the batteries when the grid goes down could be a real lifesaver. But what if you use these things plus solar to get completely off the grid? How much money could you save? Well, the average US household uses about 30 kilowatt hours per day, or just over 10,900 kilowatt hours per year. So let's say you get four of Tesla's seven kilowatt hour batteries at 3,000 a piece. That's $12,000 for the batteries alone. Now, the average cost of electricity in the US is roughly 13 cents per kilowatt hour. So you would need to use roughly 92,300 kilowatt hours before you broke even on the cost of the batteries. At the average rate of consumption, that's eight and a half years before this thing pays for itself. And that doesn't account for the cost of installation, of maintenance, of the price of an inverter, which would be thousands, or for the gradual decreasing efficiency of a lithium ion battery over the course of its lifetime. Again, these are just averages, but currently this is not something that's gonna save most Americans any money. And that's not even factoring in the cost of solar panels. That said, if you live in a place where energy is more expensive, you would break even sooner. For example, in Hawaii, the cost per kilowatt hour is a whopping 37 cents. At that rate, it would only take about three years to recoup the cost of the battery, which is approaching reasonable. Ultimately, if you're just trying to save money, then this isn't the way to go yet. But if you've got the cash to spend and you live in a sunny area, then the concept of being able to live independently of the power grid has a lot of appeal. So what do you think? Is this really the beginning of an energy revolution? Or is this just Tesla trying to sell more batteries to justify the existence of its gigafactory? Let us know what you think in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to Wired. Thanks for watching.